Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of MTR Quest. Do you recognize where I am? That's right, I'm in the MTR Quest lobby and I'm about to head to the Questers Lounge. So today, let's try to find another quest that we can do. I remember on this section, there's the Pain and Suffering Volume 1. I don't want to do that today either. Last time, we did the Fairview Fairy Fun. And that took quite a bit of time because there is no, no easy connection to Fairview, but I know that has since been fixed if you look at the system map. So, here are some more journeys. We've got Northern Journey Volume 1 and 2, and Southern Journey Volume 1. So we have a number of objectives here. And then on this side, we have tours. We have some grand server tours, regional tours and stuff, ride along. We have some ride alongs for specific lines. I'm assuming you just ride along the stations and then you hit the checkpoints. And then here we have some race to send town ones. Benton, Desert Grand Central and Egg Harbor. So it looks like there's nothing else on this side. So only the A rows, the A section of each row has quests. So today, let's pick one from a different category, tours. So we did Fairview last time. So what about, let's do, hmm, Grand Server Tour? I know Clamor is closed, so maybe not that one. Let's do a ride along. Let's do Southwest Plains Line since difficulty is 2 out of 10. So let's do a ride along for the Southwest Plains Line. All right, so we will take that northbound to Chongshu Chow. Where's the exit? Oh, here. So let's see, how do we get there again? We can take the bus there actually. That might actually be the fastest way to get there. So let's go to the bus stop. I think there's one here. All right. I forgot which bus goes there. So bus number one, I think. Yeah, is this number one? No, this is 2A. So number one that goes to... Jinnipak. But I don't think this one this one says it's going to the spawn bus terminus. I don't know, maybe this it'll loop back, I'm not sure. Bus terminal. Let's see. Wow, they these buses have interior displays now. Nice. Even upper deck has it, even though you can't get up there. Really nice work. I'm gonna sit by the driver's seat. Kinda wondering if this actually just ends up at spawn, or does this actually go to Jinnipak? I don't know. Okay, so we're turning this way to the spawn tower. Oh, someone's playing Race to Santa, or Race to Cyan Heights. Is this just gonna loop back? Uh oh. Yeah, look at the map. I think this is not the right way. There's a bus in front of us, so we have to wait for that to go. Really excited for when buses actually get added to the mod. For those of you who are wondering about the progress, since there is not many updates recently, I've been working on a big backend change and trying to put all the pieces back together. So right now the code is kind of ripped in half because I'm trying to modify a lot of a lot of code, especially mapping it to 1.20 as well. So that's been a lot of work and I'm Working as fast as I can, but I also have a full-time job and I have family to visit and stuff like that, so I appreciate all your understanding and support during this time, and I'll try to get that update out as soon as I can. And in the meantime, just enjoy these videos and enjoy the mod. 
Okay, so we're back at the bus terminus. Looks like we did go the wrong way. But if we stay on this bus, it'll go back to Jinapak. So I'm thinking if we were at spawn, like at that bus stop anyway, we would have gotten the same bus. Since there don't seem to be that many buses serving this route, so we might just catch the same one anyway. But I've actually never been to this part of the map, so... Pretty cool to visit. Oh, I didn't mean to get off. Yeah, I don't think I've been... I've been to this bus... I don't think I've been to this bus terminus before. But this is pretty close to spawn though. And it's just gonna loop around a few times before we get onto the main road to Jinapak, so just enjoy the ride. This is actually quite a steep road, come to think of it. Don't think you can get this in real life. Mm, we have a stop here at the high speed terminal. Let's look at the map again. Where are we? We're here, and we're probably the right side, going to Jinapak. Okay. I think we should be going the right way. Wow, the announcement is so long that you can't even see the whole thing. So I think... Oh, we turned right. I was expecting the bus to go straight. Are we going through an underpass to somewhere? Hmm, not sure where this bus is going. It seems like it's doing a lot of loops and stuff while we're here. It says the next station is Spawn, but why are we going this way? That's an interesting route it's taking. Seems kind of roundabout. But buses tend to do that when they're serving a dense area. Okay, so we're skipping this station. What is that? Can't see the sign fast enough. But yeah, it seems like buses tend to do that in like a city, like an inner city bus serving one city to another. It tends to do a lot of loops in one city just to get all the passengers from everywhere first, and then it starts to head out. So it's kind of normal, I think, that the bus takes these big loops before it actually goes out. I see a visitor. Did they just finish Race to Sandtown? Zion Heights? Oh, looks like that visitor wants to take the bus as well. So uh, we have to loop through Zion Heights. Yeah, I'm just wondering if I was at this stop also that I would still get on the same bus. Oh, it actually went to this platform. So maybe that was the wrong stop to wait for the bus in the first place. Oh well, doesn't matter. Now we're going to Sacred Spawn Meadow, the text is quite squished. <laughs> Are we actually leaving the spawn area yet? There's another bus, that one's going back to the bus terminus. Yeah, I should have trusted my gut when I saw that the display in the front was saying it's going back to the bus terminus. Oh well. Well, there's a route 4S. Where does 4S go? I don't know. Sometimes I think the thing with these quests is that the hardest part is to actually get to the line where you're supposed to go. Just because... I don't know, sometimes it's kind of out, out of the way, because the, the quests are in spawn, but, oh, we're back here again. Yeah, so we just took a big loop around spawn to pick up passengers, including this visitor here with me. But yeah, one of the hardest parts about these quests is to actually get to the place you need to go. Because everywhere starts at spawn, so imagine if I picked like a quest that's really far away, then... Yeah. We'll just have to go all the way to where we need to start and spend most of the time doing that first. <laughs> Which is fine though. 
If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have been able to ride this bus for so long. Like, this bus has been on the server for quite a while, but I haven't had a good chance to visit it yet. To actually take it like this. So, yeah, it's nice. Alright, Icon Broadway. So we're finally leaving Spawn. I think Icon Broadway might be close to Icon Pier, which you can change to the Azalea CL and the Sightseeing Express, I think. Alright, you can see the tracks over there for the Azalea CL. And we're finally leaving the spawn area. I'm still impressed on how how detailed this bus is, how much effort people spent making it. I think Navi was the one that made it. Yeah. So there are multiple buses serving Route 1. Oh, it doesn't exactly stop on the platform blocks. This is route to okay. I wonder where the visitor is going. Maybe they're just following me. Actually, I was wrong about Icon Broadway. Icon Pier, it seems like the bus actually does make an actual stop at the station. So... Interchange station yeah. for the lily pad bus Earlier we were just at the street, but now we're actually gonna pull into the station. The wow, we go underneath. I didn't even know there is a bus bus plaza down here. And is there a siding over here? What is that for? I don't know what that other bus was. Maybe that was another route? 4S? Does 4S go here? I don't know. So looks like there's a bus bay here for one p one and one p. Like if you look at the display over here, the next one is one p going to Jinnipak. So maybe it's a short distance route starting from here to Jinnipak. That's my guess. Not entirely sure. And I think it's cool how Navi used these slideshow displays for the bus signs. And he even custom designed some of the displays or like the route maps. So that's really cool. Hmm, I wonder why we're stopped here. Maybe that bus stop up ahead is just for one lane, so we have to wait for that bus to come out before we can get in. Ooh, looks a bit narrow here as well. <laughs> Okay, but yeah, seems like the bus stop is split between two sides. And this passenger information display system seems a bit low too. I would raise these up one block, like the sign and the display, but I'm not sure who built it and I'm not going to change it right now. Wow, look at the beautiful sunset. We're heading off into the trees, looking at the sunset, we're riding a bus. This is cool. <laughs> Jinnipak Bay. So we should be there soon, right? Because Changshu Chao Station comes before Jinnipak. So we don't want to ride the bus all the way to the terminus. We just want to get off before. I just noticed that the bus is going at 40, which is a bit slow for a bus. Like, I would expect buses to go at least 60. But maybe because these roads are kind of curvy, that's why it's going slower. Which also makes sense. I, I got an electric scooter recently and I've been riding it quite a bit. And it can go up to like 42. Something like that. Especially downhill, you can get up to 47 or 50. But this bus only goes 40, so I can scooter faster than this bus is going. <laughs> Although if you go full speed, your battery's gonna run out sooner. Okay, we're at Changshu Chao. We did not ride the Southwest Plains line to Changshu Chao. We just took the bus here, but I wonder if there's a checkpoint that I can just press and finish the quest like this. So we wouldn't have taken the Southwest Plains line, we'll just have <laughs> taken the bus to here. Okay, so... We do have to enter first in order to press the button. Mm, that was a big lag spike. Okay, objective visit Southwest Plains. 
Seems like this visitor is just gonna follow me around. Wow, they upgraded the passenger information display system. Alright. This side to Lake City. Next station is Southwest... Oh no, our goal is to visit Southwest Plains. So we'll get on. I have a thought. What if I tried to get this visitor off my tail by <laughs> catching the next train when the doors are about to close? That's so evil. <laughs> but I have to time it just right or else I'll be stuck as well. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna wait for the next train just so that I can do this quest by myself. <laughs> that felt kind of mean, but yeah, I'm recording a video. <laughs> it's better than just teleporting them somewhere else, I suppose. Maybe they'll just meet me back at the next station, I don't know. Well, let's take this time to admire the station. Wonder why this is here. And this is the siding, I suppose? And we have a crossover, a sloped crossover. Haven't really seen that before. Okay. Okay, the train is coming. The train to Lake City is arriving. Welcome aboard Wilds, Rail Wilds Railway Southwest Plains Line. I like these four car trains. And it's using the HD SP1900 models that Unknown was working on. Don't know why this display is here. <laughs> this is not that accurate. Maybe it's a Zelda reference, I don't know. I don't know much about Zelda. And we've got a lot of detailed signage here as well. Which is nice. Alright, the next station is Haruka Island. I remember showing off these trains before in one of my videos with the detailed cab picture of the British train. I forgot what class that is off the top of my head. But we've got these detailed controls and a nicely modeled driver's cab. So if you want to download this for yourself, I believe it's available on Discord in the... the next station what was the channel is called? Extra Island. Content? Or Community Works. Oh! The Visitor. <laughs> well, they're never gonna catch me now. Okay. So, our goal is to get to Southwest Plains. So let's just keep waiting. Going there. This is kind of a cool view. I'm like looking out from the driver's cab and I can see the whole train from here. It's kind of cool watching the train snake around as it takes the corners. I don't know why I'm getting these lag spikes. That's so weird. But yeah, really cool to see the train snaking around. Oh, we're already arriving at the next station. If you haven't seen the secrets or the mysteries video about this line, go ahead and check that out because I explain in detail what's special about each station and the details are also provided by the creator of the line who is T, I think. Was it? No, T was the one who built the other line the Kalos Express. Yeah, she built Kalos Express and Navi built Southwest Plains Line. So Navi gave me some details about this line and we made a video about it. So go ahead and check that out if you haven't seen it already. I believe we should be entering Southwest Plains Station soon. I might have to restart the game if these lag spikes continue. The next station is SW we'll see. Plains. Wow, look at that train. Don't know why this is so cool to watch. 
Oh, there's an interchange for the Elizabeth line. I didn't know it was open yet. Last time we filmed the video here, the Elizabeth line was still fenced off. So I don't know if it's actually open or it's just the announcement saying that. And I remember there's the big cave here as I've showcased in the video. Alright, let's get off and I probably have to restart the game pretty soon here. Yeah, Elizabeth Line entrance is still closed. So let's see where this checkpoint is. Oh, it's right here. Perfect. Okay, now we'll go to Lake City now. So this ride along doesn't make us stop at every single station, which is nice. Oh, I just missed the train. That's unfortunate. Okay. Um, one minute. Alright. We'll just wait. So it made us stop at Changshu Chow, Southwest Plains, and Lake City. Okay, not bad, not bad. Okay, the train is arriving. Let's get on... Should we go to the front? Oh, it doesn't matter. We can stay at the back. Kind of like riding the back and looking into the passenger carriage like this. And then we can also see out here too. Yeah, we're going through this glass tunnel again. Looks pretty cool from the back too. Looks like we're going into it, but not actually. Wee. Have you been on those roller coasters? Oh, lag spike again. Have you been on those roller coasters that go forward and then slide backwards? That's how it feels like a little bit. I remember riding one of those in Six Flags. I think it was called the Boomerang. It was really scary. I... <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't go on it again. But it goes up backwards when you start. And so you're seeing the track in front of you and then you're going to go forwards and then you're going to go to the end and then slide backwards through the whole track backwards. So that's how it felt when we were coming up this slope. Although this train is much more tame than the roller coaster, I would hope. All right, the next station should be the last one to Lake City. The next station is Lake City Terminus. Let's take a look at the outside. I guess there's nothing to see, but that metal bridge was pretty cool looking, it from the, looking at it from the back. This line is really enjoyable to ride on. Go check out this, the secrets video, the mysteries video if you haven't already. And we should be here soon. Why are we so slow? Because we're pulling into the station, I guess. Because there's a crossover here. Oh, the overground train. Yeah, I keep forgetting that that's there. Because it used to be that. Wow. Advertisement for the Discord. Nice. Because it used to be that this... Both platforms were serving the Southwest Plains line, but maybe I remembered wrong. Maybe one of them was unused this whole time. But yeah, I always forget that the overground was here. Because you see that tunnel that used to be the old tunnel that goes back that way. Okay, let's go back down and finish up this quest. This is a short one this time, I feel like. Why am I still getting all these lag spikes? I'm so confused. Sorry about that everyone, I just hope that I can get it fixed by next week. Don't know what's going on with my computer today. Alright, quest complete, ride along Southwest Plains Line. Yeah, the lag spikes aren't fun. Well, let's go back up and see what train we can take. If we can get a chance at the overground train, maybe we can get on that.
Yeah. I feel like I've been on this train before. To... I don't know. Where's Ithacus? Have I been there before? I don't remember. This train has the SP1900 end door and it has MLR seats, or no, MLR side panels and E44 or MLR side walls, E44 side panels, R211 flooring. Passengers what may else? change to the white fish E44 ferry ceiling and light rail handrails. What about the outside? And it's got a head of the British rail class something. I forgot. This is just a mix of all the trains. <laughs> I think I said that last time when I took this train, but it's pretty funny. Good job, Navi. I think Navi is the one who designed this. Alright, we're going pretty fast here. And this is actually not part of the quest. I'm just gonna go see where this train goes and then we can end the episode right here. So make sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video if you're liking the new series so far. Remember that this is a new series for MTR Quest, based on the Let's Play of course but it's a completely new series. So if you're liking it, please let me know in the comments as well. I like reading your comments. Remember, if you want to join this server for yourself, you can always do that by joining the Discord first. The Discord link is in the description. Wow, this is a nice station. So after you join the Discord, there's going to be instructions on how to join the Let's Play. So read through that and you can play on the MTR quest for yourself. Did this get renovated recently? Because this looks really nice. And we've got the overground orange and the violet line purple on the ceiling. Wow. I like the design of this. And we've got the reverse colors. Orange, purple, orange. Alright. We've got some ferries. Oh, this is a different station. South Yellowstone Station. I have never been to this part before, so wow, impressed. We've got a plaque here. This station was completed by Lily with the gracious help and cooperation of Pufi. Oh, it's a collaboration. Yeah, the violet line is Pufi's and the overground is Lily's probably. And the ferries, I don't know. This is probably an out-of-station transfer. Not gonna take the boat today right now. But it seems like it's a circular line. I remember seeing screenshot screenshots of the station. It's based on a real station in the UK. If you recognize it, let me know. Because I don't recognize it. Because I don't know much about that. But hope you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna end the video here. That's a lot of lifts here. Kind of want to check out the transfer hall actually. So make sure to like the video and subscribe if you liked it. And let me know what you think down in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video. I'll say goodbye in one second after I check out this transfer oh we can get to the concourse with this lift too OG overground of course this is pretty deep down okay there we are all right that's the overground so I'll see you next time bye <laughs>